and welcome back to my fourth video on the benefits of setting up a limited company. And today I'm going to talk about what taxes do I pay as a limited company. As a business owner, getting your tax right is of utmost importance. But when you run a limited company, you want to make the most of your tax efficiency, efficiencies. And here's why. The first tax that you'll, be, you'll have to pay is corporation tax. All limited companies must pay corporation tax on their profits. And one of the first things you or your accountant will do as a new company owner is to register to pay corporation tax. At the moment, this is set at 18%. Each year you must complete a company corporation tax, CT600. You must also pay any corporation tax owed within nine months and one day of your company's due date. This is typically the anniversary of when the company was formed. The other things you will have to think about is income tax and national insurance. As a limited company, you can deduct your salary from your profits as a business expense, which you can't do as a sole trader. However, you may have to pay personal income tax and national insurance. Depending on the salary you draw, your company may also have to pay employers national insurance. You can avoid income tax and national insurance by paying yourself just below the threshold for national insurance or just below the threshold for income tax so that you take advantage of your personal allowances. The third tax you will have, probably have to pay is dividends. Of course, paying yourself below the national insurance threshold um, or even below the personal allowance threshold probably won't be enough for you to live comfortably. So most people make up the difference by paying themselves a dividend. These are paid from post-corporation tax profits. So you've got your profits, you work out what your corporation tax is, the balance left is how much you can take as a dividend. At the moment, you don't have to pay any personal tax on the first £2,000 of dividend income in a single year. Above this sum, you'll be required to pay dividend tax. But this is lower than income tax rates, saving you hundreds to thousands of pounds in tax every year. You also don't pay national insurance on your dividends. I've written an ebook on the benefits of setting up a limited company. If you head across to my website, you'll be able to download it there. And while you're on my website, why don't you sign up for my newsletter? I'm also planning on doing a webinar on the benefits of setting up a limited company on Tuesday the 25th of August at 7pm and I'll post links to that separately. It'll be an interactive event so if you've got any questions you'll be able to ask me questions. Thank you for listening to these four videos. I hope you've got something from them. My name is Susan Crichton. SJC plus zero accountants. Thank you.